हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एस एस विजय सर योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर टुडे आई हैव मेड ए वीडियो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ अंडर द चैप्टर अंडर द फर्स्ट चैप्टर केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड केमिकल इक्वेशन टुडे I have described decomposition reaction under the heading different types of chemical reaction. In the previous video, I have discussed with you about the first kind of chemical reaction, that is combination. The composition reaction is just opposite of the combination reaction. In combination reaction, we have learned two or more simpler substances combine to form a single and bigger substance. just opposite of this statement what we can say that will be the correct definition of the decomposition so can you think how can we define decomposition reaction see A chemical reaction, a chemical reaction in which a compound breaks up into two or more simpler substances. Here, substances. Listen, two points in this definition we should. two points we should care in this definition i am telling again the statement the chemical reactions in which a compound breaks up what i am telling a compound breaks up into two or more simpler substances here i am telling substances why i have not see compound instead of substance because there is a difference between these two term compound and substance substance may be compound and a liquid to so when a compound breaks up into two part that part may be element or compound that is why in the second part of this definition we shall write substances not compound so i am writing this definition for you the chemical reaction the chemical reaction in which a compound breaks up into two or more simpler substances is 
Here we should mention in bracket elements compounds. Is called in the composition. So the definition of the composition is clear to you all. Now, there are different types of decomposition reactions and the different types of chemical reaction, different types of decomposition chemical reaction take place when energy is supplied in different forms. Depending upon the forms of energy supplied to break to to decompose a compound into simpler substances, the decomposition reactions are commonly classified into four parts. Here I am writing on the board the different forms of energy and the name of the different types of decomposition reaction which correspond that form of energy. The forms of energy type of decomposition reaction. First form of energy is heat. If we supply a compound, if we subject a compound for decomposition by heat, this decomposition reaction is called thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition reaction. Right? Now, the energy can be supplied in other forms also if for the decomposition of a compound, a particular compound, energy is supplied in the form of light. If the decomposition reaction takes place due to supply of light, then it is called photochemical decomposition reaction. Photochemical decomposition. Now, the third kind of energy which we use to 
supply to decompose the compound is electricity. If decomposition of a compound takes place due to electricity, then this decomposition reaction is named electrical decomposition reaction. Electrical decomposition reaction. And the fourth type of decomposition reaction is energy in the form of catalyst. Catalyst also cause decomposition of certain compounds. Therefore, it is also considered a form of energy to decompose the compound. And such chemical reaction is called catalytic catalytic decomposition catalytic decomposition so these are four types of decomposition And all these four types of de decomposition reaction is just named as per the source or forms of energy supplied for the decomposition of the substance, the compound. The definition is Clear. Thermal decomposition, the decomposition which takes place due to heat. Photochemical decomposition means the decomposition reaction which takes place by supplying light or due to light. Electrical decomposition reaction is that decomposition reaction which takes place due to electricity and the catalytic decomposition reaction is the decomposition reaction which takes place by adding catalyst in the reaction system. Clear? Now, we shall understand, we shall discuss some examples of all these four different kinds of decomposition. The first kind is thermal decomposition reaction. We discuss some examples of thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition reaction. The most popular and very common thermal decomposition reaction is the decomposition of calcium carbonate marble CaCO3. Calcium carbonate decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So when we take calcium carbonate in a beaker or in a hot glass boiling in, in a beaker or in boiling test tube and use to heat it by supplying heat energy it 
decomposes into calcium oxide solid and carbon dioxide gas is liberated similarly we can take another example of decomposition reaction that is hgo hgo is mercury second oxide or mercuric oxide when it is heated it decomposed into mercury vapor liquid and oxygen gas mercury second oxide or mercuric oxide in we can understand here the uses during the discussion we should also uh, understand the importance and uses of the decomposition the mercuric oxide on heating decomposed into mercury matter it means this decomposition reaction is used for the extraction of mercury metal from its ore the third example is zn co3 like cso3 on heating it gives zno and carbon dioxide gas the fourth example of thermal decomposition reaction is the decomposition of lead nitrate pb no3 whole to shall be decomposes thermally into lead oxide pvo nitrogen dioxide gas and oxygen gas the here this nitrogen dioxide gas has a characteristic color it is called brown fume etc i think now the Decom thermal decomposition reaction is clear to you all now we shall collect some example of photo chemical decomposition reaction photo chemical decomposition reactions there are two common photo chemical decomposition reactions we shall here discuss which is very popular which was very popular we can say due to the application use of the photo chemical decomposition the reaction is to agcl solid it decomposes when we keep the silver chloride in a watch glass if you will take some silver chloride 
and you will keep the washing glass in direct sunlight. It will decompose into silver metal and chlorine. Similarly, if you will take silver bromide, AgBr solid, and you will place it in the sunlight, it will also decompose into silver metal and bromine gas. These two reactions are used in black and white photography. Now, in the modern age, in your age, this photography, the system of black and white photography is almost The third kind of decomposition reaction is electrical decomposition. Electrical decomposition reaction. The decomposition reaction which takes place by supplying electricity means the decomposition which takes place due to electricity. This is called electrolytic decomposition reaction also or electrical decomposition reaction. In short, it is also called electrolysis. Example of electrical decomposition uh, To make you understand the electrical decomposition reaction with two reactions of the same compound, sodium chloride. In two different ways, we can decompose sodium chloride by supplying electricity. And in these two cases, we shall get different products. See, the electrical decomposition of electrical decomposition of molten sodium chloride. Molten sodium chloride. Molten means molten means sodium chloride in the liquid state when sodium solid sodium chloride is heated up to its melting point it converts into molten sodium chloride now when electric current is passed into the liquid sodium chloride It decomposes to be sodium ion and chloride ion. The sodium chloride decomposed into sodium ion, cation, and chloride anion. And the system in which the electrolysis or electrolytic decomposition of sodium chloride is carried is called electrolytic 
cell. What happens in electrolytic cell? I am sketching a rough diagram to make you understand the process of electrolysis of sodium chloride. Suppose we have taken a beaker and sodium chloride liquid is kept in the beaker. We pour two electrical conductor and connect this electrical conductor with an electric source to supply the electric current into the solution. These two electrodes are called cathode and anode. When electric current is passed into the liquid sodium chloride, it decomposes into sodium cation and chloride anion. And these two ions move sodium ion moves towards cathode and chloride ion moves towards anode. What happens at anode and cathode? At anode this chloride anion losses at anode This chloride ion losses its two electron and oxidized into chlorine gas. And at cathode this cation, sodium cation, gains the electron. You may add this reaction to write a one chemical equation for convenience like this. Algebraically we shall add this equation on adding we shall have two NaCl liquid on arrow you mentioned electricity And the product 2Na sodium metal solid and Cl2 gas. This is electrical decomposition reaction in which we have decomposed electrically molten sodium chloride. Now, the aqueous solution of sodium chloride is also electrical conductor. We can, we can electrically decompose the sodium chloride taking in the form of its aqueous solution. Electrical decomposition of
एक्वस सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड हियर वी शेल टेक सोडियम क्लोराइड एक्वस सॉल्यूशन एंड टेक दिस एक्वस सॉल्यूशन अगेन इन द इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल हैविंग टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स कैथोड एंड एनोड by supplying electricity this aqueous solution will ionized at sodium cation aqueous and chloride and i aqueous again the chloride ion releases to anode This chloride ion loses its electron, get oxidized to form chlorine gas by the loss of two electron and at cathode. Here, at cathode we shall see the difference in the. electrical decomposition of molten sodium chloride and the aqueous solution of sodium what happens the sodium cation gains the electron reduce to give sodium metal but the medium is aqueous and as we know sodium metal is highly reactive metal it when it comes in contact of water it reacts with water vigorously so as soon as sodium metal is formed it combines with the water present in the reaction system the sodium metal combines with the water present in the reaction system and forms sodium hydroxide aqueous solution plus hydrogen gas to so see in the electrical decomposition of aqueous solution of sodium chloride there is different difference in the reaction at cathode compared to the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride you can also add here this reaction or partial reaction can be added to have a chemical you will have to nacl aqueous plus 2s2 liquid on electric kerosene you mention the electricity and write the product to any oh aqueous plus h2 gas plus cl this is third kind of electrical decomposition reaction similarly we can decompose by supplying electricity we can decompose water into hydrogen and oxygen gas we can decompose other compounds like aluminum oxide Al2O3, if you will take in the molten state by passing electricity, taking molten aluminium oxide in a electric electrolytic cell, we can decompose it into aluminium metal and oxygen.
right now the last part of decomposition reaction is the fourth type of decomposition reaction which is catalytic decomposition reaction catalytic decomposition reaction. catalyst do you understand hello do you understand the term catalyst catalysts are the chemicals which controls the rate of chemical reaction which may increase the rate of chemical reaction which may decrease the rate of chemical reaction depending upon the nature of catalyst used so the here the catalysts we define the chemical substance which changes the rate of chemical reaction but itself remains unchanged after the chemical reaction the in catalytic decomposition reaction we use catalyst so the decomposition reactions which takes place by adding catalyst in the reaction system if decomposition reaction takes place due to the presence of or with the help of a catalyst it is called catalytic see one example hydrogen peroxide is a very popular chemical compound you know h2o2 hydrogen peroxide its commercial name is merx perhydrol this hydrogen peroxide decomposes into water and the hydrogen gas this decomposition takes place by the presence of an enzyme now i am using the another term not i am using catalyst i am using enzyme the enzyme is also catalyst which is the enzymes are those catalysts which are uh, enzymes are those catalysts which are taken from the living system means which are present in the living system so enzymes are called biocatalyst right since the these catalysts are taken from derived from the living system therefore the enzymes are called biocatalyst in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide a catalase enzyme is used which enzyme catalase now understand from which living system this catalase enzyme is derived so this catalase enzyme can be derived from beef do you understand beef beef means the flesh of cow 
bull or ox or it can be derived from chicken liver or it can also be derived from our cells our cells means human cells this catalase enzyme is present in the cells of our epithelial tissue usually the marks per per marks per hydrol which is the dilute aqueous solution of hydrogen peroxide is used in uh, uh, used in washing and cleaning the external wounds so when we pour very dilute aqueous solution of hydrogen peroxide on our skin so we see effervescence take place in the previous video i have discussed the process of effervescence with you effervescence means the process of liberation of gas from a liquid from a solution is called effervescence when we pour hydrogen peroxide on our skin to clean the external wound made on our skin hydrogen peroxide comes in contact with our skin and our skin cells has this enzyme catalase when catalase comes in contact with hydrogen peroxide it decomposes into water liquid and oxygen gas is liberated due to the liberation of oxygen gas from liquid water effervescence takes place right so this is a this is an example of a catalytic decomposition reaction is it clear to you uh, i would like to uh, describe the catalytic decomposition reaction with uh, an another example which is comparatively more common comparatively more common to us that is decomposition of sucrose do you know sucrose c12 h22 o11 are you familiar with this compound this is called sucrose commonly uh, we call it sugar this is sucrose also called sugar solid as two liquid add water in the sucrose and and add some yeast into the mixture from where an enzyme called invertase derived from yeast decomposes sucrose uh into c6 h2o6 
glucose and C six H twelve O six fructose. The molecular formula for both the compound here I have written same C six H twelve O six. Both are. Isomer of each other, right? Glucose and fructose are isomers, which uh, you will learn in the next chapter of your class. Mm. The name of the chapter is carbon and its compound. In that chapter, we shall discuss about the isom. Mars and isomerism. This is all about decomposition reaction and the different types of decomposition reaction. Dear friends, uh, I hope, like the previous video. you will watch my video which i have made today for you and you will get benefit of this video if you are getting benefits from my video which i am providing you so i request you to share all these videos with your friends so that they can also get benefited today i would like to share with you one thing more that offline classes are also available with me for the students of 9th and 10th of cbsc board and for the students of 11th and 12th for 11th and 12th of both bihar school examination board and cbsc board the my address and my contact number is available in the description box okay thank you very much watch my video take benefit and ask your problem if any through comments i shall try my best to solve all of your problem asked by you through the camera